continue to clean up debris from last weekend's storms. As people sift through what's left, parishioners at one Bixby church say the storm has reaffirmed their faith. Two Works For You reporter Micah Hatfield is in Bixby with what the Holy Apostles Orthodox Christian Church calls a miracle. We saw the damage to the exterior and then we came in. When we came into here, we were the first ones here and there was not a lot, but there was drywall pieces of it on the floor. Then they noticed damage to the painting of Jesus on the ceiling of the church. If you look at the script, the text that's around this icon is from Psalm 119. He looked down from the height of his sanctuary to hear the groaning of the prisoner to release those appointed to death. It was Father Arrington's 12 year old daughter who noticed the lightning strike only destroyed the word death. Death, something symbolic in the Christian faith. By Jesus' death on the cross, he overcomes the enemy of death. The more we ponder it as a community and the more we think about it, the more astounding the whole event becomes. The storm happened on August 6th, which marks the Feast of the Transfiguration for the Orthodox Christian Church. It signifies when Jesus revealed his divine nature to his disciples. The celebration calls for special songs sung in the service that day. So the very first thing that we sing is this from, the, from Psalm 76. The voice of thy thunder was heard in the whirlwind. Thy lightnings shone upon the inhabited earth. The earth trembled and shook. This kind of thing has a way of galvanizing us, you know, re refocusing us. Ah, okay, God is here. He sent us a reminder. It's time for me and my life is the one life I have and it doesn't last forever. It's time for me to, to rededicate myself uh, to him. That was Micah Hatfield reporting. Father Arrington says they wanted to leave the image struck by lightning up as a reminder in the church, but they will have to repair it because of structural issues.